Bioscience High School is a small STEM or STEAM school, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and then we add the A for the Arts and Mathematics. And we're located in downtown Phoenix. We're approximately 315 students, and that's about our maximum capacity. With us today is one of the instructors here in this high school, Corey Waxman. He actually teaches engineering and math and physics. I mean, all these things that I never was good at in high school. So, welcome, Corey. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank yes. you. Welcome to our show. So the city of Phoenix is very passionate about sustainability, so we were really excited to hear that bioscience was incorporating sustainability into its curriculum. So can you tell us about this concept, how you define sustainability, and just tell us about some exciting projects that you've been working on? Sure. Um, we actually spent a lot of time at the beginning of the year trying to even come to a consensus about what this term means. There's a lot of baggage and various definitions and labels and a lot of misconceptions. So what we land upon, not saying that it's the end all be all of sustainability definitions, but our approach is that uh, sustainability is a method, an approach to trying to meet your needs or a community's needs without compromising the ability of other communities to also meet their needs, either in today's gener generations or into the future. Through the eTech Club, students are building um, their, their cars and their solar charging stations and their grow boxes and their tortoise habitats. Um, but we also try to connect people to the environment through just going out and doing trips. We, we camp, we go rock climbing. The students went up to Flagstaff last year and snowboarded. And well, that's so, fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great and that's really one of the yeah. points. And in addition to, to connecting students to other students, we also get them out in the community. Yeah. So they'll go out and help local businesses fix little things up Good. and um, sort of um, they're open to, yeah. to community projects yeah. and, and helping out. In eTech, we have three major projects we're working on. We have the XR3, which is a project we've been working on for about seven to eight years now. It's a biodiesel electric hybrid um, built from the ground up. It is uh, a design of an engineer who we have talked to and we've collaborated with, and we've edited it quite a bit. We also have BOP, which is an outdoor space where you've seen the solar panels. Um, we're working on creating that space as an area where students can go to kind of see what sustainability is. So it will have hydroponics or aquaponics and just a, a learning space. And then we have the Fab Lab, which will have 3D printers, uh, other tools, CNC machines, where kids can go to actually make their ideas a reality. And then we finally have iGEM, which is now another club in the school which is coming under our wing, um, which is genetic engineering with different bacteria. So are all of these students super brainiacs when it comes to the scientific world? Or just tell us about the student that, that comes to bioscience. Well, according to their parents, <laughs> they're all brainiacs. Um, but I'm pretty confident. I've taught at other schools and large comprehensive campuses. And I think the intelligence of our students is comparable to pretty much anywhere you would go. What is really unique is that our students 100% of them want to be here, and they're passionate and they're interested in what they're doing. So that 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 changes everything. This school was recently um, recognized as one of the most amazing schools, not just in the U.S. but in the world. What does that mean to you as the principal of one of the most amazing schools in the world? It's pretty humbling, <laughs> actually, and I think when I arrive every day, I, I realize why we're so amazing. We have amazing students and staff and parents and the community around us is pretty cool, too. So um, I, I, I agree with the sentiment, and I'm very happy to be a principal here. So what makes the curriculum here at Bioscience High School different than any other high school in the Valley? Well, I can't speak to any, any other high school in the Valley, but any high school that I've seen um, or experienced. At our school, it's a very comprehensive experience. It's not just an interdisciplinary curriculum, it's a transdisciplinary. So we look at complex challenges in the world that we care about, and we really try to apply all of the learning to address challenges, to create interventions, and try to make the world a better place. That's not an extra thing that we do, that's at the core of our mission. 
I think it's a rare, a rare career where you can wake up every morning, every morning, and feel good about where you're going to and what you're doing. Not that every day is perfect, not that every day is enjoyable, not that this is the end all be all of educational sort of strategies, but it really feels and um, I'm convinced it's a meaningful, I'm convinced it's a meaningful paradigm for people to explore. So it feels really good to come to a place where everybody wants to be there, everybody's working hard and there, there is a synergy around the ideas and things that we're exploring. It's just fun to be around.